What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I have 12 statues en route to the Flankster Cave. Uh, we still have some statues we need to sell, so I am going to be lowering the prices on these and I'm actually adding a new Mama, statue. Figurine, hand figure. Alexa, figure. shut figure up. My gosh. Anyways, we're going to be adding Venom Bust. Uh, we're selling this entire display. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. One, you buy it all, you get a greater discount. So, if you buy everything, $2,200 shipped. For Venom Bust with custom metal COA, you get Venom Exclusive. This is the exclusive portrait. And you get Carnage with exclusive axe hand. $2,200 shipped. If you buy it separate, then the Venom Bust, I mean... I will do the one force each for $1,100, and then the bust would be $1,200 shipped. So that's basically retail with free shipping and no tax. So it's actually a really good deal. But if you buy everything, you save an extra $100. So $1,100 for the one fourths, $1,200 for that, or $2,200 for both. So save $100 if you buy all three. I can get them shipped same day paid. But we're getting this out of the collection. We're upgrading. So that is first thing that needs to go. Now we do have the Iron Studios 1 10th scale that is still for sale. And I'm going to do a killer deal for you guys. Thanos, Infinity War, Iron Man, and Star-Lord for $300 shipped. 300 shipped for all three. And then Black Widow and Red Skull, $200 shipped. For both that pair. That is a very good deal for that pair. So 200 shipped and 300 shipped. If you buy all five of them, I'll do it for 450 shipped. So save even additional money. That's less than $100 for each one tenth. If they don't sell at this price, I'm going to throw them up on Evil Bay. But uh, we got to get them sold. We also have KD Cell 850 shipped for KD Cell. Currently, my only DBZ statue for sale right now. And, yeah, KD cell is for sale. I'm trying to think if we're selling anything additional. You know, I may or may not be in a tight money situation because I've been buying so much. If I am, I may consider selling Clicker and Nathan Drake if I need money. I've just bought so much in these last few days. It's not even funny. But I may consider selling them just to... Just in case I have some pre-orders come up that I need to freaking pay for. I'm like, I need some quick cash. I may consider selling those. So, I was sick and tired of waiting for my retailer to ship Shazam. One and a half years, zero updates. When I ask about it, they say they can't ship because there's no ships available. So they can't import, but they refuse to refund me. But they said they would transfer it to another pre-order. Uh after many arguments so i'm gonna do that and i actually bought shazam from a private seller so we're gonna get shazam in for now he's just gonna go right there and we'll get that done i am contemplating and selling my avengers 1 6 for two reasons one it's the only 1 6 scale in this entire room and i'm not a fan of you know my like I like one line to be one scale for the most part. You know, like bust is doesn't count, but I'm saying like DC is all one third for me. I'm not gonna buy a one fourth DC. Marvel is one fourth for me. So to have a one six really is you know I'm one fourth and bust, and this just doesn't this is not one fourth and bust. And everything else is, you know. The only collection that has kind of two scales is Mortal Kombat. I have one third and one fourth, and technically one sixth and one tenth. <laughs> too many. Still trying to sell that Shao Kahn. Nobody wants it though. Uh, so whatever, I'll just keep it. But I am contemplating and selling this. It is very difficult for me because I love it so much. But you know, one six is great for starter collectors. I'm a big boy collector, and eventually I'm going to need this space for sure. So I may consider selling this. If I did, I'd probably do everything you see here. Everything. 
I'll even include the backdrop, the ground drop, if you want that Avengers logo. I'll throw it in if you buy the entire set. Otherwise, I'd prefer to keep that, honestly. Because uh, that's a really nice 3D printed thing. This comes with Hot Toys Loki, Hot Toys uh, the General right there, and technically three Age of Ultron 1.6. And I also have a Black Widow staff. I have that one holding, so I think it looks cool. And as far as I know, uh, everything is mint except for Thor did have a broken finger, but I did glue it. Right there. Let's see if I can focus. Yeah. It's, I mean, I can't see it right now when I'm two feet away. You have to get really close to see it. So it's glued perfectly back on. Otherwise, everything is mint. And let me think for a sec. $3,000 for everything. That is my price for everything you see there. $3,000 shipped. Uh, so I think that's extremely reasonable for everything you see here. Uh, so 3000 shipped. Uh, and Black Widow Gentle Giant, $700 shipped. We're lowering the price by 50 bucks. That's the lowest I'll go. Any lower than that, and I will just find a way to keep her. And if anyone wants a Doctor Strange Eye of Agamotto, 40 bucks shipped, and I will sell this one to you. So I just simply don't need it. I don't know why I bought a second one. Sometimes you just get tempted to buy two of the same thing. But, yeah, that is what is for sale for now. If you are wondering why I'm selling the Venom Bust, because I was able to secure a Queen Venom Bust. So, that is in route. So, we'll be doing Prime 1 Venom and Queen Venom. However, there is a possibility I may potentially just move Venom in that room. You know, especially if I sell the 1-6. The reason I'd want to do that is I have considered... Now, I need to find it first. But, what if... And I did a Photoshop, kind of crappy Photoshop though. If I removed that garage shelf, I could fit a life-size Terminator statue or the Sideshow one. It's 30, like 38 inches wide, like 20 something deep, six feet. It's as tall as me, six foot four. But it would actually fit there perfectly. Right there, I'd have the gun coming out there, this one up high. And then I'd do, basically on this garage shelf, Queen Arnold bust with Arnold one third, T1000 one third, Pure Arts T1000 bust, Terminator poster. And then, of course, I'd sell the half scale and bust to help fund the life size. And then you basically move all of Underworld and Blade down, but you would have to lower uh, Bla Blade Trinity down low to the bottom garage shelf to fit that. So I'd move Blade Trinity down low. And have it basically with the mummy. Fit all three of those right there. Move that there. And yeah, that's how I could potentially get a life size in the collection. So I am waitlisted on Sideshow. I've actually been waitlisted for a long time. And it says it's set to ship this month. If that bad boy converts, I will buy it. And then we'll sell the half scale, the bust. I'll keep the arm and Arnold. Probably also the Arnold one fourth. Uh, and then we'll just get the two one-thirds, a life-size, because having the life-size means I don't need a one-third, I don't need a bus, I don't need a half-scale. That is the ultimate representation. It's the freaking life-scale. So if I can get that, I will buy it. It'd be 6000 or $7,000, plus probably shipping the tax, probably $8,000 at least. So it would be worth it, though, to have at least one true life-size. And I've always told myself, if I ever got one life-size, it would be endoskeleton. Second one would be Vegeta. But Dragon Ball Z has a lot of issues being life size. It always just looks so overscaled, not lifelike. Endoskeleton, I love the life size of that. That is the one life size statue I've always really loved. Never really cared for Iron Man or most life size I'm actually not a big fan of. Although they've been getting better for sure. But I would love an endoskeleton right there. So I'm contemplating that. If it converts, then. You will see me post that for sale, that for sale instantly. I'd probably sell it, you know, maybe the half scale for 3000 the bust for like 2000 shipped. You know, if we buy them together, discount it further. But just, I don't know the true prices of what those go for. That is my guess, considering I never, ever see them for sale. So if I was to value them, I would say that's the price I would value them at. Uh, so... Yeah, 
and again, I'm only going to sell that if I if my live size converts by sideshow, because obviously I need to fund it and create space. And that's another reason I'm also wanting to sell the one six Avengers, because that would also help fund the life size. You know, if I get three thousand for that, five thousand for those two, that's eight thousand. That funds the life size endoskeleton. Now, if anyone is selling a life size endoskeleton and it's mint condition, message me. I'll pay you eight grand for it. Shipped. You can pallet ship it to me in Utah. Uh, but that is the max I'm pretty much willing to go. But yeah, that is uh, what's going on in the Flankster Cave. So tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, we will be getting Prime 1 Venom in. On Wednesday, we will be getting Prime 1 Goku in. On Thursday, we will be getting Shazam in. And on Friday, we should probably be getting Queen Venom Bust in. I also have MRC Goku and Vegeta vs. Jiren Prototype on the way. And that was also ship DHL. So I don't have an exact delivery date yet, but if I was to guess, I would say it will arrive on Monday the following week. So that is my guess on that. And after that, I'm not 100% sure what's next after that. I have to look into it. But that is what's the forecast of this coming week. So we're pretty much almost getting a statue every single day, folks, outside of today. We're going to get a statue Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's going to be an epic week. Absolutely legendary. So I'm super stoked. If any of you are interested in buying any of these statues, message me, Flankster117 on Instagram, FlanksterBuySell at gmail.com, Sean Sanders on Facebook, join my Facebook group, Flankster Statue Collectors. If you're looking just to buy statues from sideshows, spec fiction, pure arts, please use the links below as it does help the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Prime 1 Venom exclusive review. Later.